Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me in the studio today is Managing Partner Patrick Wooten from Richard Schwartz & Associates Injury Lawyers. And today we're talking all about, I've had an accident, and who's going to pay my medical bills? Welcome to the show, my friend. Nice so to, good see to see you. you. Okay, I'm going to put this away because I have many questions. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I've had an accident, yep. okay? One of my main thoughts that often come through my mind in all the years that I've been doing these type of interviews is who's going to pay my bills? Mm -hmm. I've had an accident today. I'm going to get a bill pretty quick that's if right. I've had an injury. Absolutely. Can we start off with that first? That is, and, and that's a question that we get asked all the time because the medical providers don't wait for your case to settle. No. They're going to send you a bill within two weeks or 30 days. So there are three <clears throat> different sources of recovery besides you yourself that the medical provider can look to. Okay. Um, one is going to be what's called in Mississippi medical payments coverage, which is, I say, health insurance through your car. Um, oh. Not a required coverage in Mississippi, but it is designed simply to pay medical bills. And is this, well, I've never heard of this. In some states, they refer to it as PIP coverage, personal injury protection coverage. Oh, right. But in Mississippi, it's called medical payments coverage. Is that an extra? It's an extra thing, not required. So a oh. lot of people don't carry medical payments okay. coverage, and it can be as low as $500, but you can have $50,000 yeah. worth of medical payments coverage. What's the next one? The next one would be, do you have health insurance? Your health insurance will, whether, will pay your medical bills, whether it's Medicaid, Medicare, private health insurance, yeah. they will pay. With the caveat being, they are entitled to reimbursement for what they paid if you make a successful recovery from the at-fault person. Reimbursement from whom? From the money you collect from a settlement right. and or jury verdict. Okay. Um, and so you have to do an extra step. You would fill out some paperwork for your health insurance provider, letting them know this was from a car wreck and the adverse person has ABC insurance company or the adverse person is uninsured, so I'm going through my uninsured motors coverage. All right. I want to just do a scenario, okay. if I can, yeah, because absolutely. I think that makes it layman's terms. Okay. I've had an accident, I've called you, mm -hmm. I've broken a leg yep. and, and sprained a wrist. Yes. I've been sent to hospital immediately. Yep. I've had a cast put on, had my arm fixed. I'm going to get a bill mm -hmm. within maybe 20 to 30 days. That's right. But when I entered that hospital, not, 10 out of 10 times they ask if you have insurance. That's right. Are you giving them your normal medical insurance? to use on behalf of the potential claim. So you're paying for it up front. Do you see where I'm going with I this? That's exactly where you're going. So then, if that's the case, mm -hmm. then how do I recoup that money? So you're always going to give them your health insurance. That's Anytime you always want to give them your health insurance. Right. That's the best you know way to go so that it's knows. And then you hire our law firm. That's the next step. And we're going to investigate is there medical okay. is there medical payment coverage because medical payment coverage is priority over your health insurance. So if indeed there's medical payment coverage, we're going to get a copy of that bill and send it to your health to your auto carrier to get it paid. Right. Okay. What happens if I'm out of work that's right. while this has all gone on? That's, the, that's another big question. Like, let's we be did. real. Like, if I'm out of work, I'm, who's going to pay my mortgage and, you know, life? Absolutely. And so that's a question we get all the time because people are like, I can't work, so my bills are piling up. You know, A, hopefully we want you to get back to work quickly. You yeah, know, of course. And thankfully, your in, hopefully your injuries are not severe enough that impact you from being out of work for a few days. If not, you know, there certainly are mechanisms through private legal funding companies. Actually, the Mississippi Bar Association allows a lawyer to advance money after a certain amount of time of having a case with their permission to help you you pay your normal expenses of, of life, but that is one of the biggest stresses people have and we try to help them overcome them. I love that you give us these examples. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Absolutely. Good to see you. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. Richard Schwartz and Associates Injury Lawyers. Back after this short break.